Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to PCF. Okay, this is Srinivas Pujari. So I have already created the uh, top in and uh, bottom in customers. Okay, uh, how to find the top in bottom in customers uh, in Power BI? So in that I have received one comment: how to you know filter the top in uh, bottom in customers dynamically. Okay, so whenever a user you know selects top two, so I want to only show the two, and then this should be in a dynamic way. Okay, based on the selections I want to, but this we can do in a different ways. But I am going to use what if parameter in this video. Okay, so like this, if you uh, select ten, okay, you can select ten, and if you want to go with the five, only five, and if you want only top three, you can select only top three. So even if you don't want this, you no, know, uh, ten slices. So I can go here. Uh, the series I can change it to, you know, four something or uh, three something. Okay, if you go and then see three, so you can see okay, uh, you no, know, six and then nine something like that. Okay, so even if you wanted to, so you can go with the two. So like so, every uh, alternative two will have this. You know, see. Two and then six and then eight, whatever the rank. So you want, okay? You can uh, see uh, that in. Okay, if you don't want even this one, so you can go and then. So ten ranks you want to see, so you can see the ten ranks. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, how we can implement this? Okay, let me take one empty Power BI. For, uh, Power BI. Let me open that. So I will. I'm going to connect the Adventure Works DW uh, SQL Server. Okay, so let's connect with the you know SQL Server connection. So let me close this. Um, get data. So let's go with the get data. Sorry guys, get data and then SQL Server. Okay, so this time I'm connecting my local server. I'm giving the dot and then click OK. So here I'm going to connect with the SQL Server uh, Adventure Works 2019. So how to add, okay, how to install SQL Server and then how to add this Adventure Work GW to your, you know, um, SQL Server. So I have created the video just to, you can go and then uh, find that video and then um, you can even, you can uh, work with the SQL also. Okay, okay. so here I'm going to with the customer table, okay, dim customer table and then fact internet sales. Okay. Fact internet sales. Internet sales. Okay, let's select this and then uh, click OK. So, it, so once it's loaded the data, so we are taking from the you know Adventure Works. It's already you know created the model in Nana. Uh, so it's a DW data warehouse, right? So it always create the relationship of um, by default. If okay, if you don't find any relationship, you can create in you know, a customer key. So we'll have in you know, a uh, dimension table, customer table, and then fact table also. Okay, so whether we have the relationship or not, we'll check that. So just go here. See the relationship is happened between customer key and then customer key. So that's fine. Now what we'll do, we'll find, we'll write the measure. Okay, first you need to write the uh, total uh, sales. Okay, uh, why? Because we are going to write the rank. Okay, first we need to find the uh, total sales. And then you have to write the rank. Then after uh, you will go with the top end, um, okay, top end uh, customer, okay, top end customers. Okay, we will write these three measures. Okay, so first we will write these three measures, and then let me write first uh, total sales amount. Okay, you can go and then uh, let me zoom it, guys. Perhaps you can go total sales equal to sum of sales amount. So let's sorry. Sales amount. So select that and then close and then enter. So first one is done. Next you need to find the rank. To find out you know top customers, you need to write the rank. So just go uh, with the rank. So if you are you know what happened? So the measure I'll click new. Yeah. So here we can go with the rank. Rank is equal to so rank x. There is a rank x function. Just click on that rank x function. 
and then so first you, we are going to write on the you know customer table right so just all open bracket customer first name okay select the first name and name we are uh, writing right so just uh, first name expression is here is total sales amount so total sales amount and uh, then uh, can go with the descending descending means which one is the highest sale for them it will give the rank okay then enter then enter uh, now select the uh, customer name so first name first name select the first name and also uh, select the total sales amount select the total sales amount and uh, okay so it is giving the uh, uh, sales amount for each and every customer but we want only uh, top 10 customers right so you can apply a filter like uh, top 10 uh, uh, so you can apply visual level filter by using rank you can apply the filter just to drag that and less than or equal to my rank okay if my rank is less than or equal to 10 then apply a filter See, it's giving the rank okay so and if you want to see so if you want to you know see in a descending order based on the sales amount just you can go and then click and then uh, even uh, the total sales amount the decimal point sometimes it's four sometimes it's three something like that okay it's not in a proper order if you want you know change the total uh, decimal points you can go and then change the decimal points the art it's auto is there just uh, if you want to keep only two so it will be uh, changed to two yes okay so now uh hope it's clear right so even if you want to add a rank okay so it's giving 10 ranks or not so then then you can go and uh, add that rank here but still okay so uh see uh, here so first rank and then second rank based on the highest sales giving the rank okay so till here everyone is clear i think so hope everyone is clear so now what we'll do so i don't want like this okay even i don't want to apply filter like this okay what we'll do in major only we'll apply the filter okay so for that we'll write the top end uh, uh top end customer okay you can go and then uh write a top end uh customer measure okay tie up top uh 10 customer equal to if okay so if rank if rank less than or equal to okay less than or equal to 10 then show the total sales amount else you can show blank you can show blank so let's close this and then take that uh, instead of uh, showing total sales amount okay instead of showing the total sales amount and uh, instead of this rank um so you can uh, take the uh, top customer and then you can remove this and even you can remove this rank as well and even this total sales amount also is not having proper decimal points you can keep the two, two uh, decimal points so where is okay we haven't added huh? so let's add that so and then uh, it's even it is not in a uh, proper order you can go with the top end uh, ascending or descending order so now it is showing the order okay so if you want to you know you know bar chart you can go and then click on bar chart so it will show in a bar so uh, even uh, you want to you know a proper title okay you can go here and then you can change the general section you can change the title here okay so top 10 customers by first name or you can write only name okay it's not something like first name and then last name okay and then even you can if you want to make it center okay so this is uh, all about you know so what how you want okay so but the thing is so uh, here it is showing only top end okay top 10 customers but i want to filter this dynamically i want to filter this dynamically so for that i am going to create a what if parameter so go to modeling so there you can create a parameter so numeric range so click on the numeric range filter 
so here you can give the uh, top uh, top n customers okay you can write the customer name and then so you want to increment okay based on the increment okay from 0 or from 1 okay you can write from 1 to 1 increment and maximum 10 uh, um, so you want and then if you want to write the default so default what should be selected okay default i uh, want to you know top 3 okay if you want to select only top 3 or else you want to select top 1 so but so it's up to you okay so what you want to select so it will create a parameter so wherever you uh, you know wherever you are uh, filtering uh, the values okay wherever you are filtering the values in the measure so you are entering so less than or equal to 10 right instead of that if you write the value okay uh, top 10 um, customer value if you write that so it will filter dynamically how um, so how you filter from here from this slicer okay by default it is you no know, filtered one so how you enter suppose if you enter top four okay so it will enter c four top four but again i don't want this kind of i want to show the title so you can uh, go here or else you can go with the list okay if you want to you know if you want a list you can go here list you can select the top three or else if you don't want the list also you can go to the uh, slicer selection okay settings here you can go with the horizontal okay orientation horizontal you can go with that and then uh, you can see now you can click on the six okay it will show the six uh, top six sales and then uh, even if you want to you know, go with the top seven, you can go with the top seven selection and top eight. So like that, so on, so. Okay, so that way uh, you can go and then uh, select that. Okay, so top two, if you want top two, you can go with the top two. Okay, so this way we can go and then select that. Right? Hope everyone is clear. Okay, how we can select you see. So even if you don't want this, you know, uh, you can uh, like, so this continuous number, so even that you can change in the uh, parameter. Uh, so whatever the no, parameter, uh, uh, what if parameter uh, table is there. So you can go here and then you can change the series. Okay, if you want only two, okay, that I have shown, um, no. Um, initially, right? So you can go and then select five and then three or whatever, okay. so whatever the way we want okay so you can if you want to buy three okay you can go and then enter three so like each three so it will give uh, something okay so let's select the top 10 it will show a uh, 10 see four if you want four you can four okay so like that you can select dynamically okay hope you are clear with this okay um thank you guys okay if you haven't watched that uh, um, so uh, top and bottom and customer so please go and uh, uh, watch that and then uh, uh, hope you like the video please uh, share and subscribe for more videos guys okay thank you so much um, and, um, and uh, hope you like the video guys okay to encourage me you know please uh, click on um, you know, hit, hit the like button guys thank you so much